Hey everyone, Assalamualaikum. I just thought I would come on here and share something with you um, that um, in regards to strength and dollars. And um, this came from a few different sources, but the most recent um, that I want to bring to your attention <clears throat> is uh, the movie Black, Black Panther. I've yet to see it, so don't tell me anything. Um, but I want to share with you uh, some figures that I found. Uh, as you know, or may not know, that there, the film since its opening has made well over 200000 excuse me, million dollars. And um, in fact, uh, within the first five days, I'm seeing here 263.1 million in the US dollars. And that's second to 2015 Star Wars, The Force uh, Awakens, in which they made three, uh, 325.4 million. Um, and then it says Black Panther eclipsed the five day North American mark for Star Wars, The Last Jedi by 1.3 million and Jurassic world by 4.6 million um from tuesday the international take was 14.6 million for a total of 199.2 million uh led by the uk with 28.5 million and south korea with 28.3 million and it already has a worldwide total of now 462.3 million dollars okay and it's no secret that the majority of us the majority of the viewers that went to go see it were black uh, black american and possibly some africans but in particular i want to bring your attention to the black americans that uh spent this money in going to see this movie um and then i also want to talk about what i had posted in reference to, um, let me find it. In reference to the, um, I apologize. I have to go to different tabs, so I don't have it right here. I have to scroll. <laughs> but um, the uh, Islamophobic um, uh, article that I put on here also um so but, but let me just go on with uh, my spiel here um and i do see some of you all here watching with me i appreciate that assalamualaikum and sister mikhail um i just want to share with you our strength in dollars if indeed we are spending this much money uh on this film just imagine if we spent that within our communities, how much more thriving we would be. And so I'm gonna also uh, go over some um, figures with you. I attended a, an event last year in which the, um, there was a very popular hairstylist uh, there and she wanted to, um, she specializes in um, obviously hair care, but in particular um, alopecia and things like that. And um, so what she did <clears throat> was she had women to stand up who had on weaves or a wig. Um, and I don't know how many were in attendance, but let me tell you. There, it, it it was probably between 50 to 75 of us on in total. There were probably only 10 of us that remained seated. So that's telling you that every other woman that was there, the remainder of the women that were there, they did not have their hair. They had this weave or wig. And um, so it was, it, she went on to ask how long they had these, wigs or weaves 
And I, 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 I cried uh, by the time she finished her piece because of the reasons that these women had chosen to wear either weave or wigs. Um, and it's due to ignorance of not knowing how to take care of their hair or finding a good um, uh, hair care specialist. But yet, um, I want to now go forward with some other figures I had come to know. Um, first, I want I want this to be interactive. So if you know this, the answers to this without cheating, um, I would love for you to participate. So... How long does it take for the Asian dollar to leave the Asian community? Does anybody know? And I'm, what I mean by that is, you know, before, you know, it's spent in any other community. How long does it take for the Asian dollar to leave the Asian community? No one wants to answer or no one knows. So I'm going to tell you, only one month, one month. Uh, meaning that they're spending it within their communities before they let their monies leave uh, their community and um, into other communities. Okay, now moving on to the Jewish community. How long does it take the Jewish dollar to leave the Jewish community? Anybody know that? Okay, I'm going to help you out. 20 days. Okay, so we're going from the most to the least, 20 days. And I'm going to stop here for a second. Um, so it, it's, it's a twofold message here, um, the black American community and the Muslim community. Um, you know, if we spent money within our own communities before it leaves other communities, just imagine the, you know, the magnitude of what our dollar would speak to, um, you know, I've been mostly in observance uh, here in Georgia. The Jewish community has, they're self-contained. They don't need to really go anywhere else for anything. They have their own hospitals, their own schools. Um, I mean, grocery stores, you name it, they've got it. So, um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so if, you know, we did the same thing. The Muslims did the same thing. Uh, and I know, I don't know that they have their own hospitals, but I know like in um, Michigan, there is an area where that it's predominantly uh, Muslim. Dearborn, Michigan is predominantly Muslim. And, you know, it's the biggest concentration of us where, you know, the Muslims really thoroughly support one another. So now moving on to um, the white dollar. How long does the white dollar take to leave the white community? Does anyone know that answer? Seventeen days. Now, how long does it take for the black dollar to leave the black community? Six hours. Six hours. Okay. Now, I want to ask you, how big is the big, excuse me, how big is the black buying power in this country, in the United States? Does anybody know that? Right. Um, I'm reading Letitia's uh, answer. She's saying, I've seen documentaries on the Hasidic community and wish that we as Muslims could be like that. And we should. I agree. Um but back to the black buying power. And this is this does not include what um not talking about Black Panther in particular, but just the black buying power. 1.3 trillion T with a T, not an M, not a B, but a T trillion. Um and that's because it leaves our community so quickly. We only spend what? I, I'm not a math person, but because I already have this answer, but two cents within the black businesses, two cents of every dollar that's made that's spent is only in the black communities. OK, and how much does the average black family make in a year's time? 
with both parents or not both parents working. Does anybody know that? It's $32,500. How much money do black women spend on hair replacement systems in a year? Any guesses? No one knows that either? The, the, these figures are astounding to me. Um, between, this is on the low end, 4,000 black women spend a minimum of 4,000 in one year's time. What is, can you imagine what the maximum is? $80,000. $80,000 on hair that's not theirs. Okay? And check this out. Um, how much money is in the black hair care Ooh, let me back up. Uh, yeah, how much money is in the black hair care industry? I don't think any of the sisters or people that I know that are in the hair care industry, but uh, and they might know these figures, but <clears throat> ready for this one? Nine billion dollars with a B. Nine billion dollars is in the black hair, uh, hair care industry. But who runs it? Does anybody know that? that? You all should know that one at least. Who runs the hair care industry? The black hair care industry? No one knows. The Koreans. The Koreans. And how much do the Koreans make per day in their store on hair replacement systems? Right, Asians. Julia, I saw they go. Uh, per day, the Koreans are making a minimum of 3,000, anywhere between there and 5,000 per day. Per day. And um, this part, um, Sister Najma uh, had shared this with us. At, I went to a, a conference and she gave us this information. Uh, Najma 53, if you want to reach out to her. She's a spoken word artist. Um, that was a good guess. Right, Leticia. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm upset you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, alhamdulillah, everybody was supporting Black Panther, and I can't wait to see it myself. And it actually reminded me, this is almost as big for black people as The Wiz was when that came out. For And I'm, of course, telling my age, but <laughs> that's what I thought of. Um, I, don't have, I don't have those figures of how much, you know, um, was spent in watching it or whatever. But, you know, I just how happy people are to be celebrated, how people of color have been happy to be celebrated. That's what it reminded me of. But um, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm upset because, you know, um, you know, and I also think about in the past how communities have thrived, you know, and, and actually were destroyed because they were so much more successful than the white communities. I mean, they were self-contained. You know, a lot of the lynchings happened to black business owners and doctors and, you know, people who were well off. Um, these were self-contained uh, communities. They did not need anything, you know, from anyone outside of their communities. And so I'm just saying we need to really think about where we're spending our money and, you know, and, and spend that, you know, so that we have more of a voice, you know, with what's going on in this country. You know, need I remind you of all of this gun violence issues that have been taking place. So, um, you know, we need to be able to have a voice and having, you know, said something that's, you know, and in, in, in what's going on in our communities, you know, in the world, you know, um, we have money, you know, we do have money and we don't have to live like we do. You know, our focus is on hair care and entertainment. Those are the two biggest industries that black people spend their money. So, I just, I'm sorry, I <laughs> went on a rant here, um, but 
it just, you know, everybody's celebrating. And then there's some that are hating on, you know, the success of Black Panther, obviously. You know, um, some of you may have seen my article where someone was trying to say that, um, that you know, it's showing Islam in a bad light, um, you know, that we're terrorists or what have you. But again, um, only the director can tell us, you know, what his intention was. And I hope he does do that because I'm thinking also about the movie Get Out. Um, where, you know, he, he, he had shared with us some extra footage of how the movie could have gone, you know, different scenarios of how the movie could have gone. And then, you know, he, um, actually talked about it after. So I'm hoping that, um, the director does talk about it, you know, if indeed, um, you know, just to, for those that are hating or, you know, have, have an issue with seeing Black Panther in the light in which he, you know, portrayed it to them. Um, okay. To be honest, this is just a token gesture by the film industry. They are playing on race right now for profit. I agree. Um, but the effect this has on actual real life is yet to be seen. I am so c cynical because I feel like we were being played. Yeah. I agree. So, um, I just wanted to share these figures with you all to make you more aware of, you know, <clears throat> the fact that we do have money and, you know, we're not spending it when we need to, you know, so that, um, we have a voice, a stronger voice and things that really matter. So, um, be sure to share this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, whatever, a like, <laughs> a heart, <laughs> and, uh, you know, discuss it among your family and friends. And, and um, you know, I hope this starts a discussion where people decide to pull their resources together to build each other up and not tear each other down. So with that, um, our prayer of Salatul Duhur here in uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia, has just been uh, called. So I'm going to get off here so that, inshallah, I can pray and you all can too. And... Um, you know, for those of you that are fans or know of me or don't know of me, reach out to me. I would love to befriend you and share with you a lot of the other things that I'm doing. Thanks for taking time to listen to my rant. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Bye.